Hey guys, welcome back to my bathroom. Today we are doing a video on me using the diamond brush. So I've only used this brush on me twice. The first time did not go well. I looked like a flat poodle. And then the second time went really well, but I didn't use it how a lot of people use it. So I'm gonna try it today the exact way that like pretty much everyone uses it and I'm gonna see if it helps out my curls at all. And then hopefully I can learn some techniques with it and then you guys get to watch and follow along. So also before I get started, I'm just going to try something here to cut some curly bangs on myself. I have very thin ones right now, but I literally love them on other people. I don't think I love them on myself, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm in lockdown, so if I hate it, no one's gonna see it. All right, so I'm taking my hair down. I'm in wet rat status. Love that for myself. So I used to part my hair on the side, but apparently that's what old people do, <laughs> which I am getting into that unhip stage. So apparently middle parts are the only way to do it now. So I don't know technically how wet my hair should be for the diamond, but usually I use all of my hair products on damp hair. So I have a spray bottle here in case I feel like my hair is starting to dry too much. Okay. So I kind of have, you can see these little pieces here. I'm not going to go any shorter than this. Um, I'm just going to probably add a tiny bit more hair and just kind of even them out. I just love other people's curly bangs and I find that it makes me sad that mine don't look like that. Okay, mine took my glasses off. So now I'm blind and I cannot see. I'm just gonna take just around my hairline here and I'm going to take this I'm going to pull it over for over direction cool and just added some nice layering in the front because I was feeling like a, just a straight sad poodle. That's usually how I describe my hair in all honesty whenever it starts to get too long because I never let my hair grow past my shoulders and whenever it gets too long I just feel so like a triangle. Not cute but I think I like the way that looks actually. Okay continuing on. All right, gonna finish the other side and then we'll go in with the diamond brush. All right, I am back. <clears throat> now we're gonna start using the diamond brush. So I'm gonna section my hair off in half. So the product I'm gonna be using in my hair today while I use the brush is gonna be the Weed Add Feather Light Styling Cream. Yeah, I'll do a more comprehensive review on this later just to show you guys more of what it actually does, but so far I do really like it. I've only used it a handful of times. So I'm gonna start taking like probably about that much per section. My hair is really short, so I don't want to put too much product in, but my hair doesn't usually get too bad from that much product. I don't know really what I'm doing. I haven't used it. Um, that much. I'll use another little dab on the other side. Oh, this is actually on the side, it's not that good. Because I know the brush is supposed to distribute all the product, but I thought, I don't know, it put some in first. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to do. I think so. I've seen other people do it. And I'm good at doing this 
find out other people. It's just myself. It's so much harder to do hair on yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little sections. I'll probably take like sections like this and then you're supposed to take your brush, go under, pull out, and then flick it in towards you and then just let it kind of do its thing and then scrunch it up. <laughs> okay, okay, I dig it. I mean, if I look like I'm from the 80s, I find that that probably won't be the worst thing in the world. Again, pull up. Plus, I also don't know if there's a better way since my hair is so short. But actually, it looks. Look at that! Wow. And I'm just pretty much collecting the whole bottom, like this part down here, because it's so short. It doesn't really do much, and my hair is really thick. So in all honesty, if I can get that to not curl up, I think that will help a ton. Just cause my hair gets big pretty fast, <laughs> which like totally I love, I love volume, but sometimes it turns into a little much. I think that's doing something though. Cool. Wow, okay wait, look at this side. Oh, you can't see me. Look at this side compared to this side. That's a pretty big difference already. Oh my gosh, does anyone get out of breath from just doing the bare minimum? Because I'm, I don't know why I'm out of breath right now. I think it's the talking and the stress of my hair. Okay, again, section. Get that in there, go up. This in the bottom. Some people kind of like shake it so it kind of creates more of the curl and then scrunch. Mm, it's going great. I always say, so the problem with my hair is it always looks good when it's wet. As soon as it dries, it just goes completely downhill. I don't know if anyone else's hair is like that, but it helps shoot my hair so short. <laughs> I literally like took sections like this and I don't think this is wrong because I think I saw other people doing it and then you literally take it and you like do a full twist with it which I don't think necessarily is wrong either but just from the way everyone else does it I think that's not completely how everyone else does it I lied in, I'm gonna section my hair in three parts cause my hair is pretty thick in this top layer. So I'm just gonna pin that away too. And then I'll go through and just do like these last like little sections and then I'll do the top. All right, I'm on the last section of my hair. And this is the most important part, so I'm a little freaked out. So then I'm just gonna take these back sections and do them all going back and away from my face. So the biggest problem I have with my hair is getting volume at the roots. I find my hair doesn't 
curl the first like inch of my hair which like is really annoying when all you want is to be a voluptuous queen so I'm hoping that this kind of helps okay and then just for the bang section I think I'm just gonna take them and I'm gonna flip them kind of away from my face maybe do like a little bit of like finger coiling oh, I'm not sure I almost don't want them to be like too curly. I want them to be more of like a, a curtain bang stitch, but I might re-wet them later just to re kind of shape them because since I just cut them, I don't really know how it's gonna lay yet. But so far, this is what my hair looks like. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna update you guys as it dries and then I will let you know my opinions. So as it dries throughout the day, I will, I always let my hair air dry by the way. So as it dries, I will come back and show you some updates. But yeah, this is what it looks like right now. Okay, so it's been a few hours. So this is gonna be a little check-in on my hair. In all honesty, it doesn't look that great. It does not look as defined. I'm gonna close this for a second. It does not look as defined as it usually does at all. It literally looks exactly like how I thought it was going to. Granted, I obviously haven't crunched it out yet. It's only about half dry now. My hair takes a really long time to dry. So it's only half dry and it's not looking good. So I think that technique is probably not what I'm going for. My bangs look kind of fun though. Um, no. I'll wait for it to completely dry and then I'll scrunch it out. But I think for, honestly at this point in my hair, if it doesn't already look good, it's probably not going to. Hey guys, my hair is mostly dry. It's still a little wet, but in all honesty, I already know this is not my favorite wash day that I've had. So this is just kind of it again before I go and scrunch it out. And my hair does not, ugh, no, I already feel like, I usually can get like a lot of volume and I already feel like I don't have a lot of curl definition and everything, but I'm just gonna start shaking this out a bit. usually like scrunch out too much I usually just shake up the roots and then I'll go through They're like little curtain nice little definition in the front there <laughs> it doesn't look good oh no oh no I have a lot of really weird pieces like this Oh no. <laughs> if you guys want to see what my hair usually looks like in my Weed Ad review video, um, you can see my hair in there and it looks very different compared to what I have now. This is definitely like fluffy and like not defined at all. Oh, that's disappointing. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to give up on the Denman though, I think. I'm gonna try another technique in another video. I'll probably do it in like one of my more like vlog style videos. <sighs> I'm sad. If you guys have any techniques um, that you find works better for more like wavy, looser curls, definitely let me know. Cause my hair definitely gets way curlier than this and I don't, I know it's not the product because I've used this product a few times now and I really like how it turns out. So, well that was, that was a good adventure. Well, let me know if you guys have any ideas, comments, suggestions in the comments below. Um, just maybe give me some more knowledge about how you use your diamond brush. I, use, I did a little bit of research, but honestly I like hearing from actual people's perspectives more. Um, yeah, so leave comments down below and let me know. Um, all about that. 
So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys later.